The beauty of the NFL Combine is that it allows for players who were previously under the radar to step up and show their worth. Deontay Banks was by far the most impressive CB at the Combine and has talked himself into the first round conversation. Does he deserve to be there? Find out in this two minute drill. Banks posted an impressive 9.99 RAS of the Combine, blowing every other CB out of the water. His 4.3540 time was third best among CBs, only behind DJ Turner and teammate Jacorian Bennett. His great athleticism is very beneficial to him as a press corner. He is able to stay with almost every receiver down the field. He excels in this role. He is able to carry players on deep routes and stick with them. Once the ball is thrown, he is able to use his great instincts and jumping ability to consistently contest the ball. He isn't a ball hawk per se, but he has great reaction speed and IQ, which allows him to make every ball thrown his way a difficult catch for the receiver. He has good size at 6 foot and 197 pounds, and is able to press outside to great effect. He disrupts his assignment at every step during the release, giving them no space to operate. He is very confident in his ability, and constantly calls out assignments in the middle of plays, making sure everyone is playing the role correctly. Banks has the ability to play in man coverage with his physical build and length, and in zone coverage with his IQ and communication skills. However, there are holes in his game. The biggest one is inside releases. Banks' shuffle is not always the smoothest, and can allow receivers to out leverage him. He also is a big grabby when he is beat. He needs to trust his ability to recover and catch up to receivers. Although he is willing and able to go down low to stop ball carriers, he is a liability in the run game. On run fits, he is a non-factor in almost every play and gets washed out constantly. For a pro comp, Banks reminds me of Ronald Darby. Darby was another superb athlete who excelled in press and downfield coverage, but was suspect in the run game and needed to clean up his feet. For a draft range, I would take Banks in the first round. The corner class this year is very deep at the top, however, which may cause Banks to slide to the second round. His versatility to play in almost every man and zone scheme will make him a very attractive target to every team that needs coverage help. When it seems like every team has a receiver that can run a 4-3 these days, you need a guy who can match him down the field stride for stride. In my opinion, there's no better guy in this class for that than Banks. And that's the 2 Minute Drill.